hello my friends welcome to this video in this quick video I'm going to talk about PHP data types so in the PHP variables can store data of different types and different data types can do different things PHP supports a few different data type which is like a string integer float boolean and etc and we're gonna talk about them in this video I run the zomp on my computer so I can use PHP and here I make a file I call it page.php and here I run it the first data type is the integer okay a string sorry first we're gonna talk about a string what is a string a string is a sequence of character like hello world how are you this is all uh, string let's create a string let me open up the php tag and here i'm gonna show you an example of a, a string i have a variable x and this is equal to hello world a string can be any text inside quotes you can use single or double quote for this one I make another variable I call it y and this one is with a single quote hi hi there. and now let's echo the first one dollar x and we add a intro and now I want to echo dollar why if we save this one and run it this is two texts which are string this is a string you get the idea a string is like a text any text is a string the second one is the integer an integer data type is a non-decimal number like one two three or whatever let's create a integer let me come in this one this is string okay and this other one is this is integer okay what is integer integer is like a number but without decimal x equal to 501 something like this if we equal this one equal the dollar x this is the number okay this is the integer how you can check if it is this integer or not you can use a php function which is var dump and put this variable inside it now let's save and run it as you can see it says int which means this number is an integer this is integer okay the integer is a number if you put a dot this is no more integer okay this is float this is no more an integer remember integer doesn't have any decimal point the other one is the float you get the idea what is float float is just like integer but float have a decimal point for example the legs is equal to 10.345 something like this let's use var dump to see what it is save it and if I refresh okay let's come in this one refresh and there you go this is float float is like just like integer but it has the decimal point okay very easy right and the other type of data type in PHP is the boolean okay this is boolean what is boolean Booleans have two type of uh, two possible state which is the true or false we make a variable I call it X which is true in another variable I call it Y which is equal to false and if I use var dump and, equal, and put my X if I save and come here okay what's the problem okay then put this one let's refresh and as you can see this is a boolean true 
if I put my y and refresh this is a boolean false this is boolean boolean have two value true or false boolean are often using condition okay in conditions we can use boolean the other data type in PHP is array okay array stores multiple values in one single variable let's make an example I say for example cars I, I want to put multiple things in one variable that's an array I say array and in here I can say Volvo comma BMW and I can have multiple things here Toyota and now this is an array okay I put multiple things inside one variable that's how array works let's if I echo this one if I echo the course it says air array as you can see now if I use the var dump the cars let's save it and refresh and there we go it says it's an array and these are the values of my array there's also another method you can print it using print r and if I refresh you can see they say it's an array the value 0 is Volvo value 1 is BMW the array value 2 is Toyota that's how array work okay that was about array the other data type we have in page B is object okay objects classes in objects are two main aspects of object oriented programming language a class is a template for object and an object is an instance of a class it looks confusing but it's very easy so object in PHP is like a class let's assume we have a class I can call this class let's make a class and let's assume we have a class named car I call this class car and a car can have properties like model color and etc we can define variable like model color and so on to hold the values of these properties so we just do that let's make this class open the bracket the first thing I want to do is to create a variable I call it dollar color and this variable should be public so we can access it and I make another public variable I call it um, model you can have multiple properties as you want when the individual object individual object are created they inherit all the properties and behavior from the class but each object will have different values for the properties what does it mean we have a class of cars we have two properties for this one the color and the model after that we have to make the constructor for this one that's very easy it's also a public function and this is the constructor okay constructor cons Construct. And inside this construct we have two things this is like you have to tell what things this class have so the, my class have color and model we just put them inside this constructor the color comma dollar model and because this is a function inside this function we apply this variables into this I can do that dollar this color equal to dollar color and dollar this this is how class work in PHP and this is model equal to dollar model now we applied these two variables for the this this was the constructor function after that we can have multiple functions as we want so in this case I want to have two function one the message and another one for the history 
so whenever I want to want to know the history of this car I want to get that function I want, want to the, take the message of this car I want to get the message function how you can do that I make a public function make sure to every time make a public function inside the class so you can access it and I call this function message and I have to return something inside this function so I say my car is a uh, here I use this and from this I want a color and I will put in space my color is so it will say the color of your car my color is red black or whatever it is and after that I want to say in in my car model is now I want to print from this I want to print the model and that's it I will return this message I can have another function just like this one I call it public function in this I call it history and I want to return the car is the car and I want to print the car model from this I want the model and now the car whatever the model is for using the car Twitter is from from where from here which year here I can I make another variable public variable I call it year and I apply it here this call um, year and it's equal to dollar year and I wanted that one here dollar this year and that's it our class has completed now we can access this class I make a variable outside of this class we call it my for example my car equal to to new now I have to tell the class name which is car and inside this one I have to assign the values I want the first one is color model year as we made on the constructor so I say my car my car is black my car model is Toyota and my car call year is 2020 now this is an object okay this is an object with multiple properties this is a property of this object this is the property of this object so how we can do run it how we can access those properties I want to echo my car from this object I want to access a property of this one so I want to I can say from my car I want the message how you can do that just like this message if I save this one and come here this is my car is black and my car model is Twitter now this is the message of the car now I want from this my car object I want a history let's save and there it is the car Toyota is from here 2020 and that's how the object work in PHP okay the other one is the null okay what is the null a variable of data type null is a variable that has no value assigned to it variable can also be emptied by setting the value to null how to do this we have a variable and this is this has a value this hello world and I want to empty this one how you can do that I want to put it set it to null if I will dump this one let's save it run it and there we go now this is null okay so this is all type of data type in PHP I hope you guys learned something in this video and if you learned something make sure to watch my other videos also there are really cool videos in my channel and if you like this video make sure to like subscribe and press that bell icon have a great time my dear friends